Hey, this is Aaron Maté sitting in for Jimmy Dore. Who's this? Aaron, this is President Joe Biden. President Biden, thanks for calling in. Well, uh, I've been busy as the dickens. I'd be remiss if I failed to make my weekly call to the Jimmy Dore show. Something my aides have been begging me to stop doing. Well, we're glad you did. Uh, How do you feel about your recent state visit to Ukraine? Aaron, I am over the moon. Totally over it. It's just a giant orb that doesn't even provide heat. (laughs) What matters is my recent state visit to Ukraine, which I may say, if, if I may say, was a rousing success. Is that so? How exactly? Aaron, my presence in Ukraine showed the people of Ukraine and of the world that our commitment to countering Putin's agenda is strong and unwavering. We will stand with Ukraine until the bitter end. And when will that end come? Aaron, that is up to Vladimir Putin and to decide, and him alone. As I've said, he could end this war tomorrow with a word. And what if he doesn't? Well, then we will keep on fighting. Or, I mean, the Ukrainians, you know what I mean. <laughs> I'm afraid I do. So what it sounds like to me is you're describing another endless war. Aaron, no one knows how long a war is going to go on until it's done, until it's ended, sometimes suddenly. Do you think the 30 years war broke out? When that happened, <laughs> they called it the 30 years war? <laughs> Hell No. And even if they did, no one would if they no one would have signed up for that mess. They'd be like, 30 years, fuck that. I got shit to do. <laughs> right. Uh, same in Afghanistan, I assume. How enthusiastic would the American populace be in 2001 if they knew that the war was going to be a 20-year morass? Exactly. That's why I pulled out. I figured we had to stop that endless war and give it about a year or so until I started another one. (laughs) You are aware that these endless wars are extremely unpopular, right? Even these proxy wars like the one in Ukraine. Aaron, proxy wars are a time-honored American tradition. We wouldn't be here if it weren't for proxy wars. The American Revolution was the definition of a proxy war against Great Britain. France and Spain came in as our allies. The American army drew its officer class largely from continental European aristocrats. That's why we are even a country. So when we lend our military to others, we are paying that favor forward. War after war. Endless war. It's beautiful. Not sure I agree with that. Well, agree with this. Get bent, Jack. Well, all right then. Sorry, sorry. I just, you know, I just got uh, <clears throat> I get a little testy when people question whether I'm doing the right thing with these endless wars. I've been taking a lot of guff lately, and it's chapping my ass, pal. <laughs> guff about how you went to address the citizens of another country when in eastern Ohio there is a massive ecological disaster unfolding in real time? Yes, exactly. How'd you know I'm getting guff about that? Because I'm giving you guff about it. Oh, for Christ's sakes. I (laughs) thought you were just repeating some talking point you heard from a lunatic. No, it's a very obvious misstep for an American president to make. The optics of it are unfathomably bad. Okay, Mr. Wise Guy, I'm assuming you don't follow me on Instagram. What? Why? Because I made a post, or maybe it was a story, I don't know. Anyway, it was a pic of me on the phone with Ohio, and the caption said, giving them everything they need. So there you go. I don't need to physically be there. Social media says I'm helping. That's what matters. I'm sure that will be very comforting to the people of Ohio. Perhaps you could at least go there soon? No, it's too late. Why? Because Trump is going there now. I can't go somewhere Trump is. It looks like we're competing. It makes me look bad. So it's just going to be a Trump thing now. You know, and 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 Ukraine is my thing. That's where the chips have fallen, my friend. Is that really how this works? Yeah, yeah. But you have to be pragmatic. 
That was Trump country anyway. It was always going to be. But there are a lot of big donors. I mean, are there a lot of big donors in fucking East Palestine, Ohio? Fuck no. Nope. Do big donors support the war in Ukraine? Fuck yes. R and D alike. As far as donor money, I still win the jackpot, and Trump is picking up crumbs. Enjoy the rush belt, you one-term loser. This is incredibly disheartening to hear an American president say. I know. That's why my aides and staff are begging me to stop calling the show insane this shit. <laughs> well, we appreciate you doing so and showing us so explicitly what a sham our political system really is. It's my pleasure, Aaron. You like that I even screwed up your name once this entire phone call? I wasn't going to say anything, but yes, I'm very impressed. Thank you. It took every ounce of my cognitive abilities and a forbidden cocktail of mind-enhancing drugs to pull that one off. So I need to go lie down now. Once the other guy comes back and I have to relearn his name over again, I'm going to have a stroke. You mean Jimmy Dort? I don't say it. All right. My left side's going numb again. God damn it. Bruce, get in here. Bring the thing. I got to go, Anthony. <laughs> Doing live stand-up comedy in Tempe, Palm Springs, Milwaukee, Nashville, Northampton, Massachusetts, Syracuse, Coho's, New York, and Hartford, Connecticut. Go to JimmyDoor.com for a link for tickets and become a premium member. Get access to all our content.